Okay, day two, raw food diet, September 2020. And this is actually, I think this was a good decision to do this because the main reason I was doing the juice fasting was, you know, weight loss, but mostly to stop my normal eating pattern because I tend to get ramped up with it and I need like a speed bump. And this is also a good speed bump. It takes me away from the tasty fattening foods, but I can still eat. And that's, so that's, that's good. And uh, I did a little modification. I had muesli cereal this morning, which is like a real plain Jane kind of oats cereal with uh, dried fruit, with fruit, real fruit. And then um, I did have coffee and I had cream, not cream, it's like a, it's nitro. It's like a, kind of makes like a fancy coffee. Um, and chai and, um, but, you know, for when I got back from my keto, I had uh, fettuccine Alfredo. I had soaked cashews, and I made a real nice, creamy, satisfying sauce for my spiralized zucchini and spiralized uh, sweet potato, sliced avocado, and some cherry tomatoes and regular tomatoes, and that was very good. And for dinner, I had a salad and fresh fruit. But the main thing that was a winning uh, experience today was after I had the fettuccine alfredo, I often like to have some sweets. And, and fruit doesn't really just hit the spot for me very often. I think it will, but it doesn't. And I remembered that there's a guy, years ago when I did the raw food diet, there's a guy named Noah who has a company actually in this little town I live in that makes raw chocolate bars and it's I think it's nationally distributed and they're, they're very good and I so I went to our local grocery store and indeed he had two he had one pistachio avocado and one um, chocolate with sea salt and I got um, two of them and so when I came home I just kind of chipped away at the pistachio avocado chocolate bar it's very satisfying and it's raw it's like this is the real deal so um that like kept my sweet tooth at bay so that i was able to just eat like you know the salad for dinner and so that's really good and i have it in the fridge and it'll last me the not for another three days i think if not i'll go get another one so it was actually a good day and the thing oh i also ate cashews as a snack which that's where the, the diet, if you're not strict with it, it, you know, it's not a low calorie strategy. But it does take me away from ramping up with um, the fattening foods that I tend to get into once I just start in my normal pattern. So it's a good speed bump and um, I'm glad I'm not juicing because it's like I did, I probably did 80 days of juicing this year and I've just... And it's not just the juice. Like if somebody would hand me a glass of juice, I would continue doing it. But the idea of having to clean it up and juice it and all the mess and it's just no. And and so this is this is going really well. And, and uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go down to church with Gary and perhaps we will go out to eat with our friends afterwards in the park. And I am going to make a, a shredded vegetable sushi, no rice, with the Alfredo sauce um, in it, you know. And I could make another sauce, but I, I don't feel like it. I have that. And, um, and that'll be my sandwich, which will be good, you know. And so, you know, so far so good. I am taking coffee and chai, and that, so that's cheating. I cheat a little. But you know, it's 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 okay. It's it's uh, it's okay, and I haven't checked my weight, but it, you know, and I haven't been exercising. But um, I'm just happy to be back in the raw food um, country of raw food, <laughs> exploring it again, because it's a very good domain, and it um, it's very informative in terms of food real simple food. It's, it, you know, you could call raw food diet the real food diet because it's just real food. Most of it is just 
unprocessed. Everything is just very unprocessed. That's why the olive oil is a no-no, because that's processed. But, um, okay, so that's it. I just wanted to report in. This is, uh, what would this be? Day two of the raw food, this five-day raw food experience, September 2020.